welcome back to the latest update. As you can see from my last video, I mentioned I was building this corrugated iron fence. And here we have the finished uh, article. It's already uh, all weathered and glued into place. This is just some leftover bits and pieces uh, that I'm going to add. I've already got one section uh, installed on the layout and I've just got these uh, to add uh, very shortly. You'll see the, the final result uh, in a minute. And I do think they actually look uh, rather good. Uh, the gaps at the bottom of the, the fence uh, will be filled in a little bit with weeds and grass and, and what have you. So you won't actually uh, see that. But again, this is just meant to be run down, uh, dilapidated, so it uh, doesn't bother me uh, too much. And here you can see the all the panels uh, in place. Uh, I've butted it right up against the whole bunker, so it just closes off that whole space. And uh, I just think it finishes off this area uh, very nicely. You can see I've uh, put some grass uh, and what have you uh, along the bottom. The white bits you see seeing are just the glue uh, still drying. It's not finished yet entirely. There will be more going into the corner here. And you can see the holes in, in the, the baseboard where the posts uh, have gone into the ground. So uh, that's all work that still needs to be done. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. And the fact that uh, it's turned out so well, I'm actually going to start uh, building another fence. This time, uh, imitation wood panel fence. I will show uh, later on in, in the video. At the moment, here we have my BR44 uh, pulling the next uh, goods train. Uh, there'll be a few more running shots uh, coming up. Uh, in this video and an issue I have with many of the points but I'll come to that uh, in, in a little while. So uh, I'll be quiet now for uh, a few minutes and uh, we enjoy the, the trains running and, and the sounds. This is a 
BR95, which I've shown uh, running in the past. Uh, I don't think there's a sound version of this, because if there was, I would definitely get one. I think this is a fantastic looking uh, large tank engine, uh, and very suited to the, the branch line uh, that I have here. Very nice uh, running characteristics uh, as well. This is where, you know, very shortly you'll see uh, an issue I have with the double slip uh, point. Uh, uh, this train uh, okay, will not actually uh, make it uh, work for some reason. Some trains do, uh, some don't. Uh, I at first thought it must be the, the local itself, uh, the wheels needed to be cleaned, but I've actually taken this apart and thoroughly cleaned all the pickups, um, the wheels, etc. And it's just, it does not run over this point. There are a few other um, locals as well um, that have the same problem. But strangely, there are others, same size, some even smaller, um, that manage it to um, no problem. Um, I do actually uh, think it is the, uh, the point. Um, but we'll see that uh, in, in a minute. We'll see it uh, stop um, very shortly. And then I will highlight the, the double slip in, in, in question. And I uh, will talk about that in, in a little bit more. These actual wagons on here, uh, some of them have actually got track cleaning pads on, on the bottom. So I do send this round the here occasionally just to. to stops and then stutters a little bit and stops. And here's the, the double slip in question. Now this is actually very old, this point. Um, I'm going to say at least 35 years old. Uh, and it is the most used uh, point on the layout. Uh, certainly all the eastbound trains uh, will pass over this and it does get switched a lot. I do think there's an issue with this bit I'm pointing out at the moment. Uh, you can see the, I'm not quite sure what, what it's called, the, the, the blade that um, switches actually is slightly bent uh, and I think it actually may come apart very soon. It seems very fragile. Now the option I've got is to remove this whole s uh, double slip. I've done this before, I've done other videos uh, where I've removed the track. And, and replaced it. I do have a spare one. Uh, we just have to cut it in these uh, places here, you know, remove the ballast and just lift it out. The problem is the, the under uh, board uh, point as well. I have to be careful of that and remove the catenary masts and, and wires, but it can be done. It's just a bit of a pain. And while I'm doing that, basically, uh, nothing would run on the main line and also because I'm having to lean over the branch line I probably wouldn't be able to run anything on the branch line until this is, uh, this is fixed. But uh, it's, it's doable. I, I just need to, to have a think about um, getting that uh, sorted when I want to do it. And here you can see the exact same um, freight wagons being pulled by a BR-111 or is it a BR-140? I'm not quite 
I think it's a one foot. Uh, and this will actually go over that, that uh, double slip with no problems. Uh, which I find very strange. As I said, they're both, uh, both have been cleaned, so I'm, I'm puzzled by that. I have tested the contacts and the blades and everything on the double slip to see if they are actually providing power. And uh, they seem to be, so I am puzzled by that. And as you can see, uh, it uncoupled, so bad things happen on the layout at times, but the engine managed to, to get through that, that double slip, so that's something for you to, to look at. And here we have, uh, I think I mentioned before, one of my favourites, the VT612. Uh, so I'll stop talking again for a while. on the, the branch line, uh, BR94 tank engine, pulling some small coal wagons uh, through the branch station. Again, uh, don't believe there's a sound version of this uh, available. I would attempt to uh, build my own or refit it with a sound decoder, but the space in here is incredibly small, and I'm not sure that uh, I, I would be successful without actually damaging something. So, for the time being, this will just have to be uh, a non sound uh, local. But uh, I think it would be fantastic if it had sound. mentioned before, uh, the corrugated fence was a success, so I'm going to build uh, a similar fence just uh, with a wood effect now, and here are the panels. I'm having to cut uh, them all individually, so I've created this uh, makeshift rig 
here uh, or guide. So I just uh, cut these to length. As you can see there with the steel rule uh, and the, the block. So I just have to cut them. I don't have to do any actual measuring each time. Just enter the steel rule, cut, uh, and then take the, the individual uh, lengths and then, then glue them to the frame. It's uh, quite a tedious job, but uh, I think once it's uh, finished, it will look, again look good. And I'm going to actually put this around my engine shed here and block off this area here benefit uh, from that. Of course the, the fence itself will be weathered and uh, aged and because it's made of thin plastic card I think I'm going to make uh, some of the slats uh, broken and I may actually extend it all the way down to, to the point uh, as well but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let me get the first section built uh, and painted and weathered uh, we'll see how, how that looks but probably will end up extending it uh, just a little bit down there. Uh, I mentioned on my last uh, upload that I was going to sort out the, the freight yard because it was all uh, had been removed to fit uh, the branch line when I uh, renovated it and I never actually got back to putting everything into place so uh, over the last uh, week or so I've just been getting the, the figures and all these small accessories and just putting them uh, into place and just changing it around just a little bit but, uh, overall I think it's uh, looks good I've still got quite a few uh, figures uh, to place in the yard uh, doing various things but uh, overall uh, it's good here we have the, uh, my BR-18 pulling the Minitrix uh, Orient Express coaches. These come uh, pre-fitted, uh, came pre-fitted with lights, but the, the lights are the old incandescent bulbs and they flicker a lot. Uh, I could retrofit them with some LEDs and a capacitor to, to stop that but the rolling resistance from the pickups is quite extreme so for the time being I've, I've just removed the, uh, the pickups so that they're very free rolling and uh, I don't particularly run my layout with the lights off um, etc so whether they have uh, working lights is not really a consideration for me I just, uh, so I'll just leave it to the way it is I may get round to doing that uh, at some point in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next update. Bye for now.